morning folks and welcome back to Derbyshire. It's day two. Are you ready for some cycling? More hills. We've woken up to a rather nice sunny bright day. Better than the forecast. So it's looking dry and lovely. Still a little bit of a wind though. On this ride we're heading northwesterly. It should be about another 70 kilometers in the bank by the end of the day. This is the second video of three in which I wanted to share our riding experience in the Derbyshire Peak District. With me were Stephen, Gary, David and Rob, all members of the Norwich-based Iceni Velo Club. Tideswell is a village in Derbyshire and lies approximately 10 kilometres east of Buxton with a rich history. It dates back to pre-Roman times and was mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086 when it was part of the Parish of Hope. It owed its early wealth in the Middle Ages to lead mining and wool production. Most of the village buildings are built in a traditional local stone making it a very pretty place to visit. Short sharp climb out of Tideswell. It's warmed me up. Heading in a generally north direction out of Tideswell, our ride entered the rolling and open countryside of the Peak District. Many of the roads we chose were single lane, cutting up through steep sided dales and re entrance. I really enjoyed the proximity with nature and the farm animals that graze the land. Of course, this meant the occasional cattle grid, which had to be negotiated. After the early climbing, we were rewarded with sweeping descents fantastic views of the landscape. I really enjoyed riding over this sort of terrain and the speeds that I could pick up dropping down into the dips and I think the others did as well. But as we headed up towards Chapel on the Thrift, the road climbed again, testing our Norfolk legs. There's some nice little bridleways that would be fun to explore on the mountain bike if you had a gravel bike going all the way over that moorland there. But we're going to stick to the road and drop down to Chapel and Lathrith. Are you eating jelly babies? You're doing it to me again. Yeah. You interview me every time I'm mouthful. You got your, yeah, he's always eating. 
You've got apricots. to. It's the hills. You've got to keep eating. It's healthy apricots. That's cool. Uh, how are we doing for the route? Well, we're going that way. <laughs> we're going that way. We're going that way. Pan around and show the beautiful road we're, we're about to head down. That's where we're going. Gary says we're going down there, so he must be right. We skirted around Chapel on the Thrith and rode through Chapel Milton. The railways in this part of the region were very important to the local economy from the late 19th century through the early 20th century, transporting mining materials. Well, what an incredible viaduct. That's two of them. That's quite spectacular. The Chapel Milton viaducts were built around 1860 and carry only a freight line now, transporting mainly limestone. They are 31 metres high and 240 metres long. And now a very ugly modern railway bridge. It does the job I suppose. We'd come to Derbyshire primarily for the climbing experience in the Dales, and we were not disappointed. Some climbs were long ramps, while others were terrifyingly steep, brutal shockers, which thankfully didn't last too long. But in the glorious heat of a July day, all the climbs proved a challenge to both legs and sapped our energy. Just climbed 50 metres and I really should have had this gel at the bottom of the hill, not the top of the hill. However, it's black current, SIS, uh, and it was very nice. Highly recommended. As our energy levels started to drain, it was time to find a cafe. Americana coffee and could I try a vegan mushroom plastic? Yep. One of those. Would you like it warmed up? Warmed up would be nice. And could I also try a bit of this yep. crispy dude? Crispy dude. Yeah. Is that it for you, darling? Yes, please. 905. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Mate, what have you got? Well, this is called a merit. 
and I think I've got a shortbread and what looks like very nice chocolate and a, and a strong shot black white, uh, flat white. He knows how to live. But he hasn't seen my cake. Uh, <laughs> you haven't got cake of the week by any chance, have you? Gary didn't see this one. Oh, <laughs> look at that. This is bad. That is, uh, that is a... <laughs> I'm going to have some. It's not for you kids, it's for me. <laughs> that one just is very blingy. Whereas uh, this one is just very, very nice. Is it more functional? Yours is more functional. It's functional. functional. <laughs> Everything I'm going to need for the next hour going up some hills. Um, I'm not sure about those Smarties. I think they may they may come back to, to bite uh, oh, Andrew. I don't know. Could be lentils. Could be lentils. As we enjoy our coffee and cakes, we look forward to the ride back. But that's it for this video, so please watch out for the next one, our third and last day in the peaks.